Hey, my name is Teacher Ellie, and I'm going to tell you today about using outside websites with ManyCam for VIP Kid Rewards. Um, I apologize in advance, this is going to be a one shot, very little editing recording um, because I have been down with influenza this whole month. <laughs> So that is also why you're not getting a full shot of my face because it's covered in cold sores. So my apologies, <laughs> um, but that's just how it's going to be today. <clears throat> okay, so today you'll see that I have um, two screens up in ManyCam in my video feed. Oh, well, I have this one, which is what I typically teach from, and then I have this screen, which is my reward screen. It's the middle of the day. My green screen isn't perfect yet, so I apologize for the blue. Well, my so my blue screen isn't perfect right now, and I apologize for that um, around my body. Okay, so let's get into the reward. I created this screen using a picture-in-picture -picture function, and I highlighted this box here and then turned on green screening. So now um, it just looks like I am in this screen. You can learn more about the picture in picture function in my PIP video, which I will link to below. Today I want to quiz my student on um, the vocabulary for the neighborhood lessons. And if you'll recall, those words are walk, run, rectangle, circle, um, and in order to do that, I've made a memory game online. This is a really cool uh, website I've found called matchthememory.com. Uh, you need to create an account. It's free uh, to create an account. There will be ads, but you can, uh, by using the ManyCam tools, you can avoid showing the ads to your students. So let's really quickly get into this game that I've created. It's called Teacher Ellie Neighborhood. <clears throat> Now by clicking that, I have just made it possible for me to play the game. Now you can see that the game doesn't really resize when I change the mm, game, the size of the window. So I am going to change the size of the window to something I want. I'm also going to shrink the size of the window. Um, so that I can have a bunch of things on the screen at once and you'll see how I how I modify this later and then I'm gonna click this button oops no nope, I totally lied I'm gonna click this button and it gives me a different configuration sometimes I play with this until it gives me a configuration that I really like um, And that's the one that I'm going to go with because it's the easiest to use. Okay, I'm going to take away the um, numbers for now, but I can use those when I'm with the student so that they can tell me A1, B2. For now, I'm going to go back into this screen. In order to show this incentive to the student, I am going to right click on this main layer. I can also do this by left clicking on this corner here and selecting layer one. Layer two is where I am. Layer two is the picture in picture. So I want to just modify this black layer one. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to select app window and I'm going to select match the mem Google Chrome match the memory. Okay, it will still show a screen that comes in front of it as you can see. So I'm going to keep everything out of the way. And in order for my student to see this as clearly as possible, I'm going to zoom in as close as I can get without elim eliminating any of the cards. And then I'm going to move it over just a tad. Maybe I'll move me over just a tad. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. So now they can see the cards and then I can select this over here on the game itself for them to tell me which box to select. <clears throat> so my student says B3. I can select it. I ask them, what is it? It's a parallelogram. Good job. And then they select another one. D2. 
Oh, what is it? <gasps> Run. Good job. Is it a match? No. Okay, give me another guess. And I usually let them guess until they get um, one match. It goes very quickly. So that is this game. And that's how I use it in the classroom. Um, I will put a link in the description box below both to my game and also to the website itself so that you can make your own memory game rewards and uh, so that you can um, use mine as well. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I will try my best to get to them. Thanks so much for watching.